So Final Cut Pro works both in stereo and in surround sound mode. And each project you create, you need to designate whether it's a stereo project or a surround sound project. And by default, Final Cut makes all your projects set to surround sound, which I think is a questionable choice because very few editing systems are hooked up to surround monitoring systems. And uh, secondly, how many of your projects that you're doing are actually output for surround environments? Uh, as much as we all love the idea of surround, the truth is that most projects are still observed and watched in computers or TVs and, and settings where you only have two primary channels. Nonetheless, the way you control that, if, whenever you select a project in the project library and you go to the inspector, you're looking at the project properties for that project. You can also, if you've got a project open, you can also just choose File, Project Properties, and it's going <laughs> to close your timeline, which is a little weird, open the project library, and then show you those project properties, and then you can go in here and modify them. You notice up here in the upper right, this shows our current settings, and this is currently set to Surround, and uh, you'll notice when you make a new project, you get this pop-up here. It says Use Default Settings. This is where you can determine Surround 48K and ProRes, etc. If you want to create a stereo project by default, just change that to Stereo. Click Custom and change that to Stereo before you create your project, although you don't have to do it at the point when you make the project. You can do it later. So, for example, this project that I'm looking at here, I can go in here and I click on the wrench icon and that opens up that same window uh, but for this existing project and I can change that from surround to stereo and when I say okay you see that'll update right over here and now we're working in stereo and so if you're working with a surround project you really need to have some sort of a sound out system that's going to allow you to monitor uh, sur uh, surround 5.1 channels and uh, most default systems are not going to have that built in so it sort of requires some additional hardware for that. One important difference is that when you're working in a stereo project you see you only have stereo monitoring and so you see these two little indicators there and if I click on that we open up the, the, the larger meters there as I play you see you've only got the stereo meters. If I switch to a surround project you see you have this, you know, you have the, the whole 5.1. You can see the, all the uh, individual levels for each different channel there. So depending on what type of project it is, surround or stereo, you will be getting different feedback in those meters. Um, so for starters, I'm going to leave this in stereo, and we're going to talk about working in stereo, and then we'll come back and talk about working in surround.